Happy Spring Coronado, I'm Blair King, your city manager. I'd like to give the community an update on a topic that's received a lot of attention lately, dockless bicycles. Dockless bicycle companies have not been granted permission to use the public property or public right-of-way to operate their business in Coronado. The city council considered and did not approve a request by dockless bicycle company back in December. Over the past few weeks, we've seen an uptick in dockless bicycles left in Coronado. The police department has been tasked with posting the bikes that are left on the public property and right-of-ways. Bikes that remain unclaimed are picked up the next day by public service department. They are stored until they are retrieved by their owners. Dockless Bicycle Company Oval picked up several bikes this past week after paying their fines and working to make sure their bikes are not left in Coronado. It should be noted that Coronado is home to 11 bicycle rental companies and designated a silver level bicycle friendly community by the League of American Bicyclists. This past week has been Tsunami Awareness Week. On Wednesday, National Weather Service conducted a test of the emergency alert system. The message was issued as a routine monthly test in the Pacific coastal areas of central and southern California. For more information, check out the City's Tsunami Preparedness Guide in the City's website. It offers information and tips on what to do and how to protect yourself during earthquakes and tsunamis. Hey, I have a happy ending story to report. Last Wednesday, March 20th, the police department responded to a call on 5th Street after reports were made of a smoke filling a house. The residents were told to evacuate the home by fire dispatch, and they did so. When the officers arrived after the residents evacuated, the residents told Coronado police officers that one of their two dogs was still in the house. Corporal Bill Kinney entered the smoke-filled house and found the dog in the back of the house, hiding behind the couch and a wall. Corporal Kinney was able to convince the dog to safely exit the house. The city's portable restroom trailer, or we refer to it as the PRT, at the South Beach restroom is currently out of service and has been relocated to the public service yard for repairs and maintenance. The PRT will be returned to its location at South Beach once all repairs have been made and is ready for the long upcoming summer season. In the meantime, portable toilets and hand washing station are in place until the PRT returns. Do you launch your boat from the Glorida Bay Marina? If so, please note that in mid-April, the ramp facility will be temporarily closed in order to repaint the stripes in the parking lot area. This will take approximately two days. There will be more details once the closure date is determined. For alternative boat launch ramps in San Diego, please visit the Port of San Diego's website at portofsandiego.org. Each year, the Port of San Diego makes funds available for a variety of activities on Port Thailands. The Port's annual grant programs intend to support events that engage the community and inspire visitors to enjoy San Diego Bay. The Port's funding is determined through a public evaluation process led by an advisory committee made up of members from each Port City. The Board of Port Commissioners will approve the official 2018 funding amounts at its April 10th meeting. The Port staff and advisory board members recommended the following funding amounts for the City of Coronado. $25,000 for Snow Mountain, $25,000 for July 4th, and $3,500 for movies on the Bay. The Navy has notified the city that they will be conducting small boat operations in the vicinity of San Diego Bay, NAB Coronado, and San Diego Coast Water starting on March 26th through April 13th from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. Questions or concerns can be directed to Naval Base Coronado Public Affairs Office 545-8136. The 2018 Community Read is coming to a close. One final event is this week. The Spoilers Book Club will meet on Saturday, March 31st and discuss Ready Player One. Sign up at the Coronado Public Library reference desk. Steven Spielberg movie of the same name is currently playing at the Coronado Village Theater. Hey, do you have a book you think would be a good choice for the whole community to read? You can nominate a book for the 2019 Community Read at the Coronado Public Library or online at coronadoarts.com. The Easter Bunny will be in town on Saturday, March 31st at 9 a.m. at the Recreation Department's annual Easter Bunny Breakfast. Following breakfast, the Easter Egg, egg Extravaganza, get that, will be held from 1 to 3.30 p.m. featuring egg hunts, games, crafts, and Easter Bunny visits. For more information or to purchase tickets, contact Recreation 522-7342. This week's Pet of the Week is Stevie. We're here at the Coronado Animal Care Facility with Stevie. Hi Stevie, you want to say hi to everybody? Stevie is a domestic short hair gray tabby boy and as you can see Stevie is missing one eye and we're not sure how much vision he has in the other eye. We're, he may see shadows, we're not sure. Um, but what you will see is that even though Stevie is blind, he likes to play. He loves to play. Um, oh, did you get that? You got it. Good boy. Yes, yes, you're very fast, aren't you? Stevie is five, about five years old, five and a half years old. Um, when he came to us, um, he did have both his eyes. We weren't sure how much vision he had. Um, eventually, the one eye swelled so much that we had to have it removed. 
Um, the thing about Stevie is he adapts very quickly to his environment. He um, senses, you know, the walls and the chairs and all that, the furniture. Um, he does know his name and he'll come when you call him, right? And he has a nickname. His nickname is Papa, right? Yes, huh? Stevie is, right now he's not doing it, but Stevie is an absolute lap cat too. When somebody sits down, he climbs up on their lap and he will just sit there for hours if you let him, huh? Because you like pets and laps, right? Yes. Stevie does not do well with young children. Um, their energy is a little bit too much for him. Um, he can startle because if he can't see you coming at him, so you really do need to approach him a little bit slowly or at least just you know call his name and he'll, he'll look up and acknowledge you. Right? Yeah. You did a good boy. Oh, yes, you do like to play. You do like to play. You do like to play. Yes, you're a good boy. So Stevie's looking for somebody who, um, Stevie is considered a special needs cat because of his blindness. Um, so he's looking for somebody who's a little bit cat savvy, who will understand um, his challenges, which just really, um, once he gets used to an environment, he's really good. Stevie's just looking for somebody to love him and to let him sit in, his la and sit in their lap. So if you want to come down and meet Stevie, the Coronado Animal Care Facility is located at 1395 First Street and it's open seven days a week from 9 to 1130 and 1230 to 4 except major holidays. Like this Easter, we will be closed Sunday. To set up a visit with Stevie, call PAWS, the operator of the Animal Care Facility at 522-7371. For more information on these events and all the city's news, check out the City Manager's weekly update online.